Here's an interesting lot of five American school books from the mid-19th century. The first one uh, is this illustrated work here, Modern Geography of the World from 1860 by Mitchell. There is this wood engraved frontis that shows the stages of society starting with barbarous and savage, then leading up to half civilized, all the way up to fully civilized. <laughs> Uh, all throughout these wood engraved vignettes are views of people and buildings and sites from everywhere, Tehran there and Bedouins and animals and Milan Cathedral and here's Genoa Harbor in uh, Rome and so on. Um, that's the first one in a period quarter leather binding. This is an interesting cloth bound book that's uh, stamped in blind like so. Uh, gilt spine on the titling on the spine and this one is 1857 it's actually by Colton a very well-known Atlas publisher it's physical geography and scattered throughout are also numerous woodcut vignettes uh, and it's this is very interesting work because also there are a number of these uh, maps with original hand color that show each of them shows Australia with a hook uh, for Lake Torrens, which is uh, apocryphal, which is incorrect. Uh, it was uh, then speculative, and and so like here's another one showing ocean currents. Yes, physical geography, volcanic regions, and so on. What's interesting here in the section on mountains of Africa, we see there is a mention of the mountains of the moon. And it says here, little is known respecting this range. Uh, that would be because it is apocryphal and actually does not exist as a mountain range per se. It's based on Ptolemaic geography and appears for hundreds of years thereafter until it's finally disproved in the 19th, late 19th century. And here is another hand-colored map showing the animal kingdom. Uh, and here is one for industry uh, of various countries with the routes taken across the oceans and so on like this. And here is another map right here, uh, plants around the world. And so that's the second work. This third one is in a period full calf leather binding like this. It's uh, 1835 and it is a intellectual powers and investigation of truth something that's quite pertinent even today, 190 or 180 years later, whatever it is. This is uh, also an early work by Jacob Abbott, um, a well-known juvenile author. Uh, and here we have a fascinating range of topics discussed, such as spectral illusions, insanity, and idiocy. <laughs> uh, more on insanity, quite a bit on insanity. <laughs> on section here on dreaming. Look at this all on dreaming. Look at that's quite a bit on dreaming. Reason, uh, fallacies in reasoning. Uh, yes, very interesting. Uh, adapted for schools. So this is a type of work that it's easy to imagine some people might still benefit from. Here is another period full swirled calf binding. Very attractive actually. American, same sort of era. This one here is 1831. It's by Reverend Blake, well known. This nice little engraved uh, astronomy plate here. And what we have is there's quite a bit of discussion here on the planets and the moon, as well as principles of gravity and science and motion and things like this and refract, refraction of light, mechanical properties of air, wind, sound, angles of vision, and here is a dictionary of philosophical terms, followed by this suite of engraved plates, of which quite a number are celestial, as you can see here, like so. And there's other ones relating to optics and vision and so on. Yes, there appear to be 23 of those. The final work is also bound in full leather. It's a soft leather. It's a little bit later. It's a, a botany book. And we see here uh, by Asa Gray, well-known name. This is 1889. It's printed on an India type paper like this. And it talks about having uh, 
some plates or something, but uh, those plates, I think, oh yes, here's some at the rear, right. These are, this is them, right. I thought it could be separately issued, but here they are, right at the rear. They're all um, this offset method of printing. They're all detailed like so. And these five books are available as a lot online from me, Brian DeMambro.